Believe it or not, South LA is home to several large and beautiful parks, and this hidden gem near the Florence Firestone neighborhood is no different. Hey guys, welcome back to the South LA Recap. Don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more videos about South LA and LA on the regular. Today, we're digging into a new park for this channel, but one that South LA and the Florence Firestone community has enjoyed for over 20 years. Nestled on the corner of Slauson and Compton Avenues, Augustus F. Hawkins Nature Park is surrounded by fantastic brick, ironwork, and towering trees. Inside is a tranquil 8.5 acre green space that holds windy and sometimes hilly trails, a wetlands area, and several picnic benches. This isn't a park for play. In fact, there are no hoops or official soccer fields. It's a park to feel, relax, and to temporarily escape the urban density and automobile bustling of South LA. But what's the history behind this park? In December of 2000, the city of Los Angeles unveiled its most recent urban transformation, the 8.5 acre Augustus F. Hawkins Nature Park. Before this area was a nature park, the city of Los Angeles used this site as a sewer pipe storage yard for roughly 90 years. The transformation began in the mid-90s and with the design help of the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy, the total renovation cost around $4.5 million. I don't know if you all see a trend here, but all of the great parks in South LA that I've covered so far, Magic Johnson, South Los Angeles Wetlands, are all formal industrial sites that were conveniently converted into green space. That's the south side of town for you, I guess. Anyway, the park is a namesake for Augustus F. Hawkins, who in 1963 became the first black congressman west of the Mississippi River. Hawkins was known for his progressive views and staunch support for educational reform and the civil rights movement. Holding office for over 58 years and never losing an election, Hawkins was the direct predecessor for Congresswoman Maxine Waters. Namesake aside, this park has some pretty neat features. The hilly terrain and lush meadows are entirely man-made. The Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy bulldozed dirt from the landslides along Malibu's Pacific Coast Highway and landscaped it throughout the park. And the rocks and the artificial wetlands were donated from the headwaters of the Los Angeles River. Throughout the park, you'll find several serene views, low-level hiking trails, flowing water, and a few private sitting areas nestled behind trees off the beaten path. The park is also home to a pretty neat nature center, but the building and its exhibits are temporarily closed due to the pandemic. My wife and I really enjoyed this park. We spent nearly an hour walking around and admiring the flowers, trees, and thoughtful paths. Several families were present and everyone seemed to be at peace. It's a great reminder that families in South LA enjoy parks and greenery like anywhere else. And we're happy to have it too. Though, while you're here, you're minutes away from Pollos Asados El Carbon El Guero, one of my favorite restaurants that we reviewed right on Slauson Avenue. If you have a favorite park in South LA, list it down in the comments below. That's all for this episode of the South LA Recap, and always remember, be proud of where you live.